The Florida Wildlife Corridor stretches 18 million acres, and it's there to try to save wildlife as well as Florida's water supply. So important as we're seeing all this growth. Now these days, the land is used to study ways to make water supplies cleaner and help native animals and plants continue to grow in a healthy way. Lauren St. Germain from our script station in Tampa, WFTS, talked to environmental activists as well as farmers who are doing that work right now. And they tell her that the work is only just starting. Kind of watch your step there because it kind of washed. If you look down there, there's about two foot difference in elevation in the water. The purpose of this was to look at, well, what are the impacts to our operation, but what are the downstream impacts that we can do on these large landscapes by holding up water? Gene explains the primary focus. Mostly concerned about phosphorus in this area. Why is that? You know, phosphorus is a nutrient that causes algae blooms. So with the algae, whether it be red or green, that phosphorus getting in the water column, getting to the coastlines and producing that, those algae. There are now more than 100 of these culverts across the property. And now nearly 20 other ranchers are doing similar work. Well, over, over a 15 year period, a lot more people getting on board because we all see the impacts that we're having with water demand. About a 20 minute drive away is Archbold Biological Station. We traveled there on a different day to learn about their research. It's right in the middle of the Florida Wildlife Corridor. Archbold's been here in, in Florida since 1941 and we're driving through some of the most precious places in North America right here in Florida. The Florida Wildlife Corridor is a mixture of natural habitats like where we are at Archbold. It includes working lands and forests and ranches and farms. It includes all the areas across Florida that contribute to protecting wildlife, helping to uh, conserve our watersheds. Um, in the long term, these are uh, really important for resilience. There's a gopher tortoise crossing the road there. Hillary explains why a vast connected network of land is so crucial for conservation through the life of a gopher tortoise. A little connectivity goes a long way for some species. For a gopher tortoise, cut off by three big roads, you are just going to end up with sort of a, a population of, you know, that is gonna live there for a few decades, but just die out because they they're not breeding, they don't have any genetic diversity. In 2021, the Florida Wildlife Corridor Act passed with bipartisan unanimous support. It secured hundreds of millions of dollars in funding to protect interconnected natural areas in the state. And since then, thousands of acres of land have been added to the protected list, also helping the animals that call the Florida Wildlife Corridor home, like the Florida scrub jay. Lots of species like scrub jays or gopher tortoises need connectivity from one patch to the next. And you will see our neighbor with some scrublands, and you will see other neighbors to the north and to the west with scrublands, some of which are connected to us and others of which are not yet connected. And that's the long game of filling in the jigsaw of the Florida Wildlife Corridor. And we really just touched the surface of the work that these scientists and ranchers are doing. And it's only the beginning of Lauren's reporting. So you can find the full report and other installments of the story when you head over to fox4now.com.